From shopping to traveling to big family gatherings, the hustle and bustle of the holidays can certainly take a toll on your mental health. Yes, it can. Neuropsychologist Dr. Judy Ho is joining us live here in the studio with some tips and tricks to beat that holiday season stress. In today's Health Smart, we're talking about some simple ways to manage the stress that comes with the holiday season. And oh boy, does it. Joining us now is Dr. Judy Ho, clinical neuropsychologist and author of Stop Self Sabotage. Good to see you. Good to see you. Congratulations both. on your book. Thank you so much. I have to be honest, um, Saturday I was uh, shopping, driving, got stuck in traffic in a parking structure and kind of had a little bit of a meltdown. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> this is too much. There's so <laughs> much going on over the holidays. I feel like everybody feels that way. They're uh -huh. crazed, time is limited, and you feel pulled in all kinds of directions. Yeah. Of course, holidays are about family. Yes. A lot of family gets together. It's only like maybe once or twice a year when they actually do this. And you know, a lot of times there's like some of the some of those old problems between a couple of people that might come up. That's right. I feel like that old baggage is always there. Yeah. So there's sort of like a love and hate relationship with your family. You want to see them, but then you're also afraid of the drama that's going to happen yet again this year. So what do we do um, back to just the, and I was talking to uh, one of the makeup artists, Susanna, too. It's overwhelming just trying to get the perfect gift for everyone, getting it in time, getting it wrapped. But And I'm doing that solo. I can't imagine like having three kids and a husband. and. Blah, oh, blah. you have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a lot. How, what can you say to give yourself time, but like we don't have time to give ourselves time. Yes, except we need <laughs> it. It's sort of like that airplane analogy where you have to put on your mask before you help somebody else with their oxygen mask. Yeah. So even if it's just 30 minutes a day, you got to do something just for yourself and schedule it into your calendar like it's an actual appointment you're going to follow. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is just to really think about your values. You know, we're pulled by everybody else's goals and what they want mm -hmm. for us. But sometimes we got to check in deep inside, like what is it that is important to me and mm -hmm. make your decisions accordingly to your values and it's going to be a little bit easier just to sort out all of that mess. What do you mean by start a best hits list? Well, I think that one of the ways to say goodbye to 2019 and get ready for 2020 is actually reflect on all of the positive memories that you've had. Sometimes around this time of year, it's hard for us to remember some of those positive moments uh -huh. in the frenzy. So I think it's nice to kind of list out your top 10 positive memories in any domain of your life and reflecting on that actually boosts your mood too and actually calms people. Right, it's gratitude, right? Yeah, it's all about gratitude. And then what about your book, Stop Self? self-sabotage well stop self-sabotage is about how we sometimes get in the way of the goals that we say we want whether it's in relationships or career or just starting a good healthy habit and trying to stay on course and so my book is a scientific program it's six steps that helps you to eradicate this problem and I think that it's really useful for everybody to think about a refresh like how can I do this next year a little bit better what is one of them well one of them is actually just to become really aware of your thoughts we sometimes mm. forget that our thoughts influence our emotions and our behaviors. So you just check in with your thoughts, understand where they're coming from, know where your triggers are, just think before you react. That's going to be a really big tip. Yeah, that's kind of like you say, getting in, getting in your own way. Yes, absolutely. And sometimes we forget, you know, we're like already on that train and we look back mm -hmm. like, why did I do that? All right. Well, great information. All right. Appreciate uh, it. Nice to meet you in person. Yes, yeah. nice to meet you too. All right. Again, it's uh, Stop Self Sabotage. You can uh, purchase it on Amazon right now and uh, you can learn more about Dr. Ho at drjudyho.com and your instagram dr judy ho i'll That's check right. it out facebook twitter all those social media platforms yeah <laughs> thank you got them all covered great to see you